Hello everyone, Old Guy Gaming here, back again with another MTG Arena video, and tonight we're going to be doing one of the strongest decks, I think, going into Standard 21, that is going to be Boris Cycling. So, of course, we've got, you know, rotations happening, that obviously the MTG Arena team has given us a, a little sneak peek into what that's going to look like, and they've got some of the, uh, they've they've rotated out, all the other sets are going to rotate out here in a week or so, and have left us what's with left over, and... This deck isn't going anywhere, guys. Uh, unless they do something about Zenith Flare, Zenith Flare is going to be around, which means the cycling deck is going to be around. So that's what we're going to cover today, kind of just as a refresher course on what the cycling deck is going to look like. So it is still going to run Loris in the back end because why the heck not? Um, you're going to be able to recast a lot of the stuff out of your graveyard that, you, that you've cycled out. So things like Flourishing Fox, creatures that you need actually to actually win the game other than Zenith Flare, that'll keep you up for a while. But let's kind of get it. Zenith Flare is the reason why this deck functions. Came in Ikoria for four mana, one red, one white, and two. Deals X damage to any number of tar to any number of targets when you gain X life, where X is the target number of cards in cycling in your graveyard. And basically, you take all the cards that have cycling that came in uh, Ikoria and dump them into your graveyard. It doesn't matter what color they are, which is why you're going to see blue cards and black cards. It doesn't matter. I'm grabbing the ones that say cycling one, so it doesn't matter which ones you grab. It genuinely doesn't. There are some key components to this deck that you're going to want to keep on to. Flourishing Fox being one of them. It gets plus one, plus one every time you cycle a card, so it gets bigger and bigger as the game goes. Um, this Football Crater is usually a cycle deck. You, you throw that out. I mean, you can toss it on there if you want to gain haste on your Flourishing Fox. Sure. Uh, the Drenath Healer, uh, it's a 2-2, two -two, cycles for one, of course. Uh, whenever you cycle a card, you gain life, so it's just keeping you alive, mostly during the game. Um, the Valorant Rescuer uh, bit creates a 1-1 one -one creature every time you cycle, so it kind of helps you go a little bit wide, again, helping you provide blockers out there, uh, again, keeping you alive until you get Zenith Flare off. Uh, Drenath Stinger, you can actually win the game, technically, on this one. If you never actually see a Zenith Flare, every time you cycle a card, it does a damage. If you have multiple of these in play, this can be pretty painful over time. Uh, go for Blood, same thing. Um, you can use it if you want. Uh, target creature, fight a creature you don't control. You can use that. It's a fight effect. Um, if you, especially if your Flourishing Fox is pretty big right before an attack, you can use it for that. But otherwise, you're going to cycle this. Memory Leak's there because, again, it's a cycling one. Pick your favorite cycling one uh, creature, uh, spells in the deck. It doesn't, genuinely, it doesn't matter. That's why, like, Force Veil Ambusher, we can't even cast this card. It's only there to cycle. You know, Boon of the, the Wish Giver, only there to cycle. That's it. They're all the way there. You're mostly trying to build up to how quickly can you get to Zenith Flare first. That's the deck. That's the whole concept. And until this card has a, a ban or a restriction, they don't do restrictions anymore. So unless they ban this card, that's what this deck is. And that's what it's always going to be. Having Loris in there to be able to cast some of the stuff out of here that you might want, like some of the creatures that you might lose, th that's the only additional benefit to this one. Mana base, super simple. Uh, Ten planes, six mountains, four temples of triumph. Um, we're losing... Um, the Sacred Foundry, uh, because that rotates out, so this is kind of the only dual land option. And the dual lands that are coming with, um, um, what am I thinking? The, the the next set coming out, the, the dual lands that are coming out with those aren't really dual lands. You pick a color whenever they come into play, which is kind of cool. I mean, I like the concept. I like what they're doing with it, but... Mm. This is this this is what dual lands are gonna look like from now on in. So, anyway, so we're gonna go into some gameplay. But before I do, if you enjoyed the video, like the content, and you feel like I've earned it, by all means, please hit a like and subscribe. That'd be super helpful for the channel. If you have an idea how you would run your Boro Cycling deck, let me know in the comments down below. If I like the deck, of course, I will actually run it. You should see one on Friday where I had a viewer submit a deck that I really enjoyed and really had a ton with. You'll see that video on Friday. So, anyway, let's go on to play some games, shall we? We're going to go into the old standard 2021 ranked just because it's fun. Because there's there's your standard rank, but that's not what we're doing. We're doing boar cycling. Yeah, this deck, um, Ugin's going to be another big one. Like the Ugin Uro decks, good lord, can those things go? Those are, those are three cards right off the top of my head that I think in the early, early days of... Uh, oh yeah, this is cycle away. You may want to wait until the rescuer is out to start cycling. At least get the uh, at least get the one ones. Bat Boy Slim. I love the name. <laughs> I love the name, my friend. So we're gonna hold off on the cycling for now.
scavenging ooze. This is going to be mono green. That's cool. Well, there's the zenith flare. So now it's just a matter of time. No creatures in the graveyard. I can't imagine he's going to go in. Banishing light. Interesting. Let's go with the stinger, shall we? No creatures in the graveyard. I'm actually genuinely tempted to go for blood and be able to take out the scavenging ooze. Because that could be problematic. Yeah, you have no creatures in the graveyard to pump it up. Boros Lieutenant. Yep. Nope, that works for me. Can't imagine he's going to go for it here, but you never know. How many cards? Just the one. Yeah, we're going to start dumping some more cards in the bin. If you were going to do that in the first place, why didn't you? Yeah, it still goes on the stack. Nope, I'm good for the moment. So I feel like I need to memory leak just to get scavenging ooze out of the way. Or Xena Flare just to get scavenging ooze out of the way because this is going to become a problem quick. Least gets the life up. Yeah, not having our fox in play is actually really hurting us. Good play. I like this deck. There's the healer. That's what we need. Need to start gaining back some of the life that we're losing here. Nope. Go for it. Need a zenith flare now. Ah, no, we don't need we don't need uh, lands. Keep cycling. So he is forcing me into a position where I'm going to have to block next turn.
I'm just waiting for Primal Might, and that's really what's going to do it. He's going to get through with Primal Might. Conclave Mentor. Cool. Another one. He's just going to build them up. So I'm more interested in surviving. So we're going to block here and hold. We'll take the six. We know we can replace it if we need it, but we're just going to try to cycle our way out of this. That's a good start. Oh, that's dirty. And Zenith Flare for the win. <laughs> that's the deck. Like, it clearly, clearly he had an advantage over us. Clearly he was going to win the game on the next turn. But that's what this deck does, is it just waits and waits and waits, and then it shovels enough stuff into the graveyard where it goes through... And says, oh, I am going to pull this one out by the skin of my teeth. And that is the cycling deck. <laughs> it almost feels dirty because, like, it, to me, that feels like I'm stealing the game. Like, because the deck, otherwise, I mean, it's not everything else that's on the table. Like, Flourishing Fox is kind of cool. I mean, with all the cycling, it gets to be really, really big. It's like a very, like, a Johnny's Pride Mate kind of thing going. Oof. Ugin. My man. You got me worried, my friend. What is this? What is this? I mean, I can start pitching stuff and see if we can see how it goes. Let's cycle. Let's see if we can get to the lands we need. Nope. I like the idea of putting the rescuer down instead. Because I like the one ones. Ooh, is this an adventure deck? Cool. Ooh, look, it's Ugin. I mean, Uro. I mean, really, I'm getting to Ugin. Ooh, wow, all of his brazen burrows just went to the bin. There's that mana that we needed. Just cycle, cycle, cycle. He's going to pull Ugin out. Oh, Beanstalker Giant. Cool. Love struck beast, cool. Another one, sure, let's do that. Why not? Uh, no, I got one of those. I'm good. There's a Z in the flare we need. Now we just need to start keep pitching more and more stuff into the bin. I am curious to see how well this deck will do against this. Because legitimately having all this stuff in my gear rate actually helps Zenith Flare, not hurt it. And I'm just going to block. Like, it's, it's not that big of a deal. So, yeah, let's start pitching stuff into the bin and see what we get. <laughs> Nothing but lands. Interesting. Interesting. 
So he can swing all he wants. Uh, he is getting ahead on life, though. I'm a little concerned about that. So we might have to double Zenith Flare him, which would be nice. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's got a Torment's Crypt. Oh, and he's got... All right. He's got it. He's got a Torment's Crypt, which is going to cancel everything else in our... Um, which is going to eliminate everything else from our graveyard. But here, I'll show it. It's going to exit all cards from our graveyard, which is going to kill the Zenith Flare's ability. And then he's got Ugin, which is going to win him the game. So, that's it. <sighs> Did he Fae of Wishes the Torment's Crypt? That's awesome. That's a really good idea. I'll give him credit. Yeah, so that deck... <laughs> and keep in mind, most of the key components in that... Yeah, they're all in standard. Ugh. Ugh. That's scary. That is scary. The only way to beat that deck is to outrush it. That's the only way to beat that deck. And then once Ugin hits the table, you might as well, like... It's kind of over at that point. Which is why, again, I'm really surprised they reprinted it in standard. But hey, what do I know? Hey, look at that! We're gonna get a fox on turn one. How do you like that? It's been a while since that's happened. No, we're gonna hold. Cultivate. Sure. Uh, yeah, I kind of need the mana, actually. Uh, I'm going to hold on that. Yeah, let's do the football craters. Let's get the damage in. Underworld Dreams. Cool. Love, love that card, by the way. Huge fan of that card. That's why I kept the Go for Blood. Uh, you can do that. That's fine. I'm actually not that worried. Um, so let's go for... Uh, we're gonna cycle out one of these. I think these. I think the fox is gonna do us more, do more work for us here. That's fine. Because my friend's down to eight, and I've got enough here to kill him. Oh, he's got a blocker down. I'll give him that. Another Skull Prophet. Interesting. Sure. Alright, so now we actually gotta start bringing the pain in other ways. What is he doing? What are you doing? Am I better off? I think I am better off cycling through. Because I am still waiting. Can't imagine he's not going to block with the Gilded Goose, but that's his life gain right there. Of 
Cool. Mine's a little bit bigger. Which is why I held on to go for blood. Again, no zenith flare. This is actually getting kind of crazy. So we are actually going to kill that. Uh, I think we're going to cycle this fox. Still waiting on... Ah, uh, no. Well, wait, no. Oh, uh, we're not in that turn. Start creating some 1-1s. One Start overwhelming them. Since it doesn't appear that we're going to be allowed to have a Zenith Flare, because I know that we have more than enough in the bin now. Yep, there it goes. Spirit of the Abyss. Very nice. Very nice. I love this. I love this. I love this deck. I love this deck. It's just peer into the abyss into underworld dreams. I'll let you play it out. It takes a while to get there. Um, probably equal uh, tempo as the two decks. So it's actually kind of cool to see that in. But peer into the abyss with underworld dreams. Love it. Love it. You can do that as a mono black version too. And just kind of like keep creatures up just to keep blocking. Cool deck. Cool deck. All right, we're going to go one more. One more with a cycling deck. And then we'll call it a night for this one. <sighs> Pure into the Abyss and, 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 and Underworld Dreams. First of all, Underworld Dreams was originally printed in Legends. And I remember cracking my first one and loving the original artwork. There's a big part of me, like I know they're trying to update all the artwork for all that stuff. There's a big part of me that really wishes they had kept the original artwork. Yeah, I can see this. Tap land for you, tap land for me. Sure. Is this the mill deck? Sure is. You're going to regret that decision, my friend. You're only helping me by milling me. <laughs> You're aware of this, right? You're, you're only helping me. You're, you're only making this... Uh, sure. You're only making this easier for me. All right, so I am going to lose Zenith Flare. That's going to suck. Good thing there's more in there. Wait, did he choose that? Why would you choose that? There we go. We're just going to hold out now. I don't know why he would... Like, he had the choice. He chose to put that in the bin and not Zine the Flare. Unless he's got another discard. Unless he's got another Agonizing Remorse in there. Which is possible. Um, no. Sure. Hmm. Let's cycle these first. Let's see where we get. I really want to keep that on the table. Sitting at nine. Yeah, let's get put the rescuer down. So, unless something drastic or crazy happens, we've... Okay, yeah, the gaining of one life actually kind of stinks. But... 
Unless something drastic or crazy happens. Sure? I'm gonna bet you he's got a counter spell in hand. Do you wanna bet he's got a counter spell in hand? cycle. <laughs> this deck's so dirty. It's so dirty. It's so wrong. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it uh, for this one. Um, that is going to be the Boris Cycling deck. You will be seeing quite a bit of that until Zenith Flare is corrected. And if it ever is, it may not be. They may just keep it around. So <laughs> anyway, I do hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below how you do your cycling decks. Uh, if you have a deck that I haven't tried and I want to give it a shot, let me know. I'll make sure to give all credit to those who have give me decks over. So until next time, guys, we shall see you in the arena. This video was brought to you in no small part by our patrons. If you would like to help out the channel, go to www.patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga. And thank you for your support.